well known to actively try to cover up corruption of the Democrats. The Democrat poised to lead the House Judiciary Committee next year says he has no intention of continuing the GOP-led investigation into FBI and Justice Department decision-making during the 2016 election, even if there is proof of, cor of corruption. Jerry Nadler, who stepped outside of the ongoing closed-door interview with former FBI Director James Comey, told reporters Friday that he plans to end the probe come January. Yes, because it's a waste of time to start with, Nadler said in response to a question about whether he would end the probe. Nadler characterized the Republican investigation as a political sideshow and says that it aims to distract from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into possible ties between Trump campaign and Russia. The entire purpose of this investigation is to be a diversion of the real investigation, he says, which is Mueller. There is no evidence of bias at the FBI and this other nonsense they are talking about, he continued. So he's claiming that Peter Strzok, James Comey, Andrew McCabe, uh, you know, all these people, they, they, they had no bias. <laughs> uh, GOP lawmakers say they are seeking to unravel what they allege is evidence of political bias against President Trump by the top brass at the FBI and DOJ during the election. Comey, the latest in a series of current and former FBI and DOJ witnesses, Republicans wrangled to testify as part of the Joint Judiciary House Oversight and Government Reform Committee investigation, has long been a target for his actions during the 2016 presidential race. The former FBI chief and other top officials at the Bureau came under heavy scrutiny early this year after a DOJ watchdog issued a scathing report about Comey and other officials' judgment during the heated presidential race in relation to the investigation to Democrat nominee Hillary Clinton and her email server and the Russian probe. GOP lawmakers are also seeking to interview Attorney General Loretta Lynch, uh, former Attorney General Loretta Lynch, before Democrats take hold of committee gavels, although the exact timing remains unclear, a committee aide told The Hill on Thursday. Nadler also told reporters that while he just learned about Trump's nomination of William Barr to serve as Attorney General, a role Barr previously held under George H.W. Bush's administration, and while the confirmation process for Barr is still a ways off, he still has lots of questions for Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker. The real question now is Whitaker, who is still the Acting Attorney General, Nadler said. A top Democrat pointed to critical remarks Whitaker made about Mueller's investigation before, before joining the DOJ, stating what he believes it is unconstitutional. Whitaker could take the interim role without going through the Senate confirmation process. Democrats have pushed for Whitaker, the top official overseeing Mueller's probe, to appear before Congress to testify about his remarks. And just last week, House Democrats announced that they have secured an interview with Whitaker for some time in January. And just keep in mind, Mr. Nadler, the Democrat, who's saying uh, it's all a conspiracy that uh, that the FBI and DOJ were against Trump, uh, he's also still claims that it was a conspiracy that the IRS went after Republicans and targeted uh, citizens based on their political views. He says that's a conspiracy. Uh, he's lying. He's, he's lying. Uh, it was they were found guilty in court. Uh, the IRS wrote a, a legal document, a statement admitting to it and apologizing to it. They've re, they gave a written statement in the court of law admitting to it. It's not a conspiracy. So he's showing himself to be a political hack. 